Hey homies, I'm Stephen Iwashki from Adventure Yoga, and this is a yoga pose breakdown for Supta Virasana, or Reclined Hero Pose. In this pose breakdown, I'm going to show you the steps to help you get into the pose, and you can do this along with me. You might want a prop for this yoga pose breakdown. So when we get into the stage that is Virasana, before we do Supta Virasana, so this is hero pose, sitting between your heels on the ground. If when you practice that pose, your hips have to be off the ground and you like to prop them, so grab a block or a yoga blanket so that you can put that under your hips when it's time for Virasana. It's partway through the step-by-step -step that we're gonna get into. Cool. Anyway, unroll your mat, grab what you need, and We'll start on our heels in Vajrasana, so sitting on our heels. So you can meet me there. I'll see you in a few seconds. Start here in Vajrasana. Start by sitting on your heels and sit up tall. That's our first step for getting into our Supta Virasana. Push down through your toes and sit up tall. There's a whole post all about Vajrasana, there's a whole video about that, so if this pose is new to you, you can check that out. Touch your fingers to the ground, and lift your butt up off your heels. And then move your feet apart. Separate your feet so that your inner heels are as wide as the outer edges of your hips. Really, it's so that you can sit down on the ground between your heels. Now, for a lot of people, your calf muscles are going to roll to one side or the other of your shin bone. And so here, what you need to do is grab your muscle and roll it onto the center of the bone. So if it's rolled all the way over to the right, just roll your right calf up until it's centered. If it's all the way to the inside, the other way. You can do this on both legs, so you got to balance on your shins here to get your calves centered. Uh, this is quite a common... Uh, adjustment that a lot of people need to make. So then the next thing is to sit down. So as you're sitting down, you've got to hold your calves in place. Now, for some people, your calves are just in place and you don't need to hold them here. That's fine too. As you sit down though, you can hold them in place and then get your hands out of the way and sit on the ground between your heels. Now, if you can't sit on the ground between your heels here, that's why I recommended in the intro that you have a prop around if you knew this was coming and you might want to lift up your hips. So if your hips aren't on the ground, take a blanket or a yoga block, lift your hips up again, so you touch down, lift up, and then place the blanket or block between your ankles and sit down on that. So this becomes your Virasana. We want your hips on the ground between your heels, whether the ground is lifted or whether you're right down on the ground. Now, I don't need the blanket, so I'm going to take it out again. Just move that out of the way. So this is Virasana, and we're going into Supta Virasana. Supta means supine, which means lying down on your back. So we've got to somehow get from here onto our back. Somehow, it's like this. Take your hands back behind you, bend your elbows, and Take your elbows a little bit wide, out to the sides, as you start to lean back. Push down through your feet, hug your elbows in here, place your hands flat, and see if you can actually bring your elbows in and down to the ground. And then make your forearms roughly parallel to each other, so it's roughly fingers pointing straight ahead. If you're on a prop, depending on how high the prop up is, <laughs> how high up the prop is, uh, this already might be too far back for you. You might be feeling it in your lower back, and so if it is, you can just come up a little bit higher or just sit all the way up. If you are on a prop, though, please don't go any further back than here today for your Supta Virasana. If your butt is on the ground, though, we can go further back. Tone the bottom of your pelvis, so tone your mula bandha. Move the sides of your pelvis in, left and right, front and back, and tone the muscles there slightly. Tone your belly, or draw the sides of your waist in a little, Uddiyana Bandha. Then move your elbows a little bit wider. And often I'm doing this on a mat fully, so once my elbows get off the mat, they can start to usually slide on whatever the surface is underneath my mat, but obviously here, 
my right elbow is going to get stuck on the mat still. So <laughs> you got to move your elbows wide so that you can lower your upper body down all the way to the ground. Now, if your knees start to come off the ground, that's okay. This next thing is probably going to help with that. Tuck your butt underneath you a little. So like you're taking the waistband at the back of your body and drawing it down underneath you towards your knee. So just tuck your butt a little and then move the front of your ribs back down towards the ground. Push down through your feet and stretch through your knee. A couple of arm options here. You can just have them at your sides. You can place one hand over your belly, one hand over your heart. Or to get a little shoulder opener here, you can also hold your elbows and then take your arms up and rest your forearms on the ground overhead. Remember your Mula Bandha, tone your pelvic floor. Remember your Uddiyana Bandha, tone your belly with the front of your ribs down towards the ground. And then stretch. This is Supta Virasana, or Reclined Hero's Pose. Push down through your toes, stretch through your knees, tone your pelvic floor, move your ribs towards the ground, stretch through your whole body. You can stay here for quite a while if you like, or you can come up with me. To come up, lift your head, bring your hands down to the ground, push your elbows down, lift your upper back, then walk your elbows in a little and come up a little higher, and hands to the ground, come up a little higher, and walk forward with your hands, lift your torso, you can adjust your pelvis a little as you come into Virasana, it's nice to maybe untuck your butt a little bit here. And then I really like plank pose or Dandasana as counter poses to my Supta Virasana or even Virasana. I really like to open up the knee joint like that right away. So I'm going to go into plank pose here. You can take it a little more slowly than that if you like. I enjoy the sensation of the fluids getting back into my knee joint. I think it's, it's like a little reward after being here for so long. So if you're with me, come into plank pose. Wah, go quickly. Enjoy that sensation. I really like to take that approach. I learned it from my teacher, Noah Maze. And I don't always do it, but today it just felt really good. It feels good sometimes to do that. Plank pose. And that's our practice of Supta Virasana. Thanks. I hope that helped. And that's reclined hero pose, or Supta Virasana. This video is part of a whole blog post that I've written. You probably know that by now, but you can check out the whole blog post. The link is in the description for this video. It takes you over to my website, Adventure Yoga Online, and you can read all about Supta Virasana and tons of other yoga poses. We've got benefits, contraindications, these step-by-step -step guides all written out. There are fancy pictures of the poses, illustrations and photos, sorts of history and the myths about the poses. Loads of information. Go check it out. And if you'd like to do a class based around Supta Virasana, this is a, maybe not for newer students, this is a vinyasa practice that gets it in in 20 minutes. Click there, add that to your watch later list, or do it now if you're feeling up for it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you can just click my picture right over there. Picture, you can click on it. Picture, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am, and you can click on it, and it'll make you subscribe. I probably just ran out of time though, so gotta go. Namaste, homies. <laughs>